Hello everyone, this is David Arroyo and today I will be talking about this really cool app from the App Store called Astropad. As you can see, I've just uh, loaded it up on my iPad Pro and all of a sudden it shows you Photoshop running on my iPad Pro, which normally would not be possible, but thanks to the wonderful guys at Astropad, there you go, magic. Um, right, so very quickly, what is Astropad? I know I've mentioned uh, this uh, app before in one of my previous videos, but I've never really shown you guys. So, you know, today I'm going to show you guys. And while I do that, I get to give you guys a bit of an update on what's going on with immersion and stuff like that. So, you know, good opportunity to do both uh, things in one go. Right. So Astropad, it is basically an app that allows you to mirror uh, your visuals from your, uh, you know, PC, well, not PC, like it has to be an Apple product, but I mean like a desktop, like for example, iMac, MacBook Pro, uh, anything that is from Apple that runs OS X, in, in, you know, in simple words. Uh, and that you can mirror it uh, onto your iPad, uh, like iPad Pro, uh, other iPads, or even, they even have a solution for uh, the iPhone. So it's actually quite uh, impressive that they've done that as well. But uh, so that's basically what it is. It allows you to use any of these professional software applications and bring it on <clears throat> to your um, mobile devices uh, by Apple. Um, <clears throat> so here you can see how I'm basically adjusting the, the screen a little bit, um, which you can also do straight from the uh, app itself. So you don't even have to use uh, or, or go behind your computer and, you know, change it there. You can do it on the on the iPad as well um, in the app. You know, here, as you can see on uh, your left hand side, there is a menu uh, which um, pops up once you click on that circle thing right here and it goes away uh, when you click on it again. Um, so here you can see basically that there's no lag, uh, literally it, it's, you know, it, it runs really smoothly. Um, for those of you that have been paying attention, um, very clearly, you'll also see that yes, the lightning cable is connected, uh, to my iPad pro, but this is not a requirement. Uh, you can run AstroPad without the lightning con uh, connector and it will draw just as smoothly. All right, so here uh, I was quickly showing the other apps I was using, or I tend to use um, for drawing. So Procreate, uh, I have to admit, is my number one app. Um, and I used to use Sketchbook uh, some more and Graphic by Autodesk as well. I still use that from time to time. Um, but it was just to show you guys uh, what I use when I uh, work on uh, Immersion. Um, so. Here also, I'm quickly showing you uh, the price of AstroPad. So if you are interested, uh, this is the price tag. It's twenty nine ninety nine dollars, and you know a lot of you guys might be like, "Hey, whoa, 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 that's that's you know that's that's a lot of money," but let me tell you, that's twenty nine ninety nine versus you otherwise having to get something like a Wacom Cintiq, which is seven hundred dollars. Um, you know, and for only twenty nine ninety nine, you get a professional you know, set up on your iPad Pro, you can use all these things just normal. So all you have to do is you go to the App Store, get AstroPad, as I'm showing right there, and you also get it on your uh, iMac or MacBook Pro, or whatever your, uh, your platform is. And, you know, these two just link up, you know, it's so easy. You don't have to do any setups or anything. You just open it on one side, open it on the other, and it detects each other and it works. And it works over Wi-Fi. And it works um, on, you know, with the lightning cable and both work really well. There's barely any lag whatsoever, uh, especially with the cable. I mean, you can see it now. I'm using Photoshop now and I don't, I don't know about you, but I, you know, I'm not, lo you know, noticing no difficulties with the lines that I can't see where I'm drawing. It is, it is very, very comfortable. So, AstroPad, uh, that's, that's that about AstroPad. Um, you'll see, you know, I mean, my point is, give it a try, have a look. Uh, yes, it's $29.99, but very, very worth it. Trust me, uh, especially if you are someone that wants to use these type of things uh, on the go. I mean, sometimes I draw in my living room, right, which is downstairs. And... Uh, and that's because, you know, the kids, I have to keep an eye on the kids and stuff. 
um, and my office is upstairs and I might need to use Photoshop for whatever. I mean, I don't only use uh, Procreate for a webcomic because I need to write some text and, you know, uh, Procreate doesn't do text. Uh, you know, the text balloons and all that I can maybe draw in Procreate, which I don't. I do that in Illustrator uh, and the text and such. So for stuff like that, AstroPad is perfect, especially if you've got kids running around that you have to keep an eye on. Um, you know, you can be mobile and you can do stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that brings us then to uh, the topic of immersion. Um, right, so immersion, as, as a lot of you already know, uh, I'm fully in early development uh, in it. The test pages are going well. I'm learning so much from the test pages. Um, you know, making a comic, I've really learned, isn't all that easy, especially if you want that to look professionally. Uh, it really takes time, and the one thing that is really important for me is quality versus quantity. How many pages can you put out at a certain quality, and how often can you upload it on the uh, on the internet? Um, because this is important, especially if you got a story going on. Do you want to upload once a day, once a week, once a month? Uh, you know, these are qu quite important things. So that's what I've been doing uh, lately. I've really been focusing on, you know, the pages and how that works uh, and, you know, the looks and all that stuff. So that takes time. Uh, I've learned a great deal. And the more I, you know, dive into this uh, comic book uh, creation process, the more respect I have for all these comic book artists out there that have done it already. Uh, it's, it's amazing the journey that they had to uh, go in order to reach, you know, the product that they are delivering every day. Really, it's not to be underestimated. It is a very, very, um, you know, research intense process. Uh, but once you have it, you know, you've got a pro, you know, you got, you know, like a formula that you can work with and that you just keep moving uh, forward, you know, with that formula. Um, so, yeah, immersion is going well. Uh, I'm thinking of many different ways. It's, it's still going to be a webcomic, um, you know, in the future, I don't know. Uh, obviously, the objective is, you know, to one day maybe capitalize a little bit on it uh, if all goes well, but it's too early for that now. Uh, so at the beginning, it's just going to be a webcomic. It, nothing changes in that plan. Uh, I still don't know in terms of distribution exactly how, whether I'm going to do it per page basis or a strip basis, you know, like a, a comic strip where it's just one strip and you have like a, you know, a few panels in there. Um, it depends. And this is all linked to the art style. That is very important. That's what will dictate uh, whether uh, I'm going to do one or the other. Really quickly going back to Astropath, here you can see how I basically am drawing on Astropath and how it comes back on the screen just to show you, you know, the difference in lag. Uh, there is none. And I've also removed the cable there, um, you know, just to show you that, yeah, literally with or without the cable, it works really well. Um, so, yeah, just quickly, because um, I just quickly want to mention that um, while I was talking about uh, immersion. But anyways, so, yeah, immersion is going really well. Um, you know, there's a lot of there's still a lot of things to do comic. Uh, I mean, in terms of character design, I still have to do a lot of stuff make the characters look sharper, better, uh, give them a bit more, you know, like a signature look, uh, all of them. Um, I'm also thinking now a little bit about the story, uh, how I'm going to present that, because, again, your style really dictates the way that, you know, that, I mean, the type of stories that you can tell. Uh, if you're uploading once a week or once a day, you can tell very different stories versus uploading once a month. Uh, or if you're working on a page basis, like one page per week versus one comic strip per week, honestly, the tempo and all that stuff, that, that really is important. So I'm at that stage right now where I'm uh, doing research on that. Um, but, you know, we're getting there, we're getting there. There's more test pages coming up. Uh, test panels normally no. I think, you know, I've got more or less the, 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 the styles down that I want to explore. And um, hopefully more info is coming more on, you know, will be will be becoming available on that soon. Um, but yeah, so there you go. I mean, that was just quickly an update on on, you know, on on immersion. And, you know, at the same time, I get to show you guys uh, this really cool app called AstroPad 
definitely worth it. Twenty nine ninety nine uh, in the App Store. You know, it's it, it it it's more pricey than other things that you would buy there. Not all of them, but you know what I mean. Uh, but it's it's definitely worth it. I'm I'm not kidding. It's that or getting a Wacom Cintiq. Um, you know, which is at least seven hundred if you buy the thirteen uh, HD. You know, the thirteen inch HD um, model. Uh, so it really works, uh, especially when you have an Apple Pencil. You don't need an Apple Pencil, important to know, you can do it with your fingers, um, but you know, you can, uh, with the Apple Pencil obviously you get all that pressure sensitivity in there and all that, and that's really, really magic, I mean, that's really what you want. So um, again, here you can see me just, uh, you know, working on, on some of the strokes and all that stuff, changing colors, everything that you would do in Photoshop, you could do on this uh <clears throat> on this on this astro pad because it's it's just the same thing it's basically running the exact same uh software uh, so definitely worth it so as a very quick recap uh, because this was a very guerrilla style video that wasn't planned um astro pad 29.99 in the app store only uh compatible with apple products and definitely worth it. I hope you guys have a look at it, astropat.com. And for my stuff, as you all know, www.artofdavidarroyo.com. Have a nice day, guys.